This weekend, we celebrate Emancipation Day here in the territory, a day to commemorate the emancipation of slaves on the islands, which happened back on January 3rd, 1848. Many offices will be closed on Friday in observance of the public holiday. And this year's celebration will be unlike any other. Many are calling it the beginning of a new chapter for the U.S. Virgin Islands in its annual celebration of freedom from slavery. Our USVI News, Ali Bourne-Vanek, has more, plus speaks to the VI resident who helped bring it all together. The U.S. Virgin Islands Emancipation Day celebration this year will be different. Here in Emancipation Garden, it will be the first time celebrating freedom from slavery without the sculpture of Danish King Christian IX. It was removed earlier this year. It's very important that people come out the actual Virgin Islands come out this emancipation because it's very important that this is the first celebration that we will have, 1848 celebration of emancipation with the King Christian bus removed from the Emancipation Garden. Jason Mead Sr., known as the Conch Shell Man, reached out to the VI legislature last year about having the bust of King Christian removed. He says it was a collective community effort advocating it be taken down. We want the Emancipation Garden to be for our freedom fighters like General Budo and other freedom fighters. It could be the, the Four Queens. So I wrote the letter and the Senator Mastex show up. The bill, the bill had come forward. I went, I testified. The bill was signed. But along the others, it was a puzzle that put together. I can't forget the Pan-African group, Leave and the Pan-African group, because we put a signature to get to pick up signatures. And March, March, this year, March, the 30th, the 3-0, the statue was removed. King Christian IX ruled well after the Emancipation Proclamation. However, many historians argue that oppression of people of color continued during his reign, and he was king during Fireburn and the riots on St. Croix in 1878. The plan is to replace King Christian with the conch shell blower for freedom. We fought for freedom. We wasn't given our freedom. We fight for freedom. So it's very important that what happened in St. Croix, 1848 in St. Croix, when nine, at least 9,000 enslaved fought for the freedom and demand the freedom, and they get the freedom. So it's very important that we come out and celebrate every year at July 3rd our freedom. USBI News, I'm doing this in the behalf of Ali. <laughs> There is something so magnificent about the sound of our conch shell. Thank you so much for that, Jason. And thank you for bringing more of that this Saturday as we celebrate our Emancipation Day. In St. Thomas, Ali Bornvenak, USVI News. Oh, it'll be a great day indeed.